Hello and welcome to this iMesh tutorial video and today I was making this object um, and it was using a gradient texture to split between two materials so I thought that I'd show you guys how I do it and so you can do it as well so this is just a basic stage that I'm using it's just a circle with a camera and two area lights as well as a indoor HDR so let's just grab this whole thing actually these and just move these to a new collection um, I'm just going to type that as don't touch and then for this one I'm just gonna press this button so I just can't touch anything so now I can just concentrate on the camera and my cylinder so first we need to make a cylinder so let's add one here uh, mesh cylinder and just scale this right down and let's just make a really simple vase right like this just turned on screencast keys so we can see what we're doing now so press E and scale that in or I whatever you want to do and just bring that down like this and now let's grab all the edges press 2 if you like and grab these and do control B and just add some edge loops Ta-da! let's shade smooth and if you really want to you can also add a subdivision surface and I want to make this edge a bit tighter so I'm just going to add one more edge loop here and another one here so now I'm just going to quickly unwrap it so what I'm going to do is grab this bottom one and this one inside and also this edge here. So I'm going to do right click and mark seam. You have to be on edge select to be able to do mark seam but if you're in this one it's not there so make sure you're in this one and then select the whole thing and press U and unwrap. Now uh, let's have a look at the UVs. So the UVs are a bit messy. What you can do if you want to make this square is purchase this add-on and you will not regret it. I absolutely recommend doing this. Please buy this add-on because what it does, it turns everything to a nice square. So I can show you why this is a problem currently. So let's go to Shader Editor actually. And let's add a new material. And what you want to do is go to Edit Preferences and make sure that you've got Node Wrangler, turn Node Wrangler turned on. And then if you press Control shift t you can now select materials. So I've got this material from, from CCO Textures and it is absolutely amazing and it's all free to use. So please grab, go on there and grab the material. The one I'm using is going to be a concrete floor so let's just click on the ones that we want so uh, normal and hold down control click on the ones you want so uh, roughness and specular yeah that's fine and do this and then it makes a material for you so you can see there's a seam here that's quite obvious so how to fix that is that I would first press N and make sure you've got this add-on and just press this button and now we have a square but the seam is still in the wrong place so let's just rotate this 90 degrees I'm going to press UV and snap to corner select the whole thing again and just bring this down oh sorry just with this one selected and bring this into the corner and now the cursor is in the right place so we're just going to press this button control L and scale this up so it fits into here let's zoom in so it goes exactly to the edge and now the seam is going from this direction through to then this side again so the seam is invisible but the but the actual UV is still stretched so let's just stretch this up like this till it looks a bit about right I think that's alright <coughs> so we have our concrete block and what I want to do is just add a gradient to the top and bottom where it will mask the next material that we add so let's go back to the shader editor and let's move this out of the way and actually let's go to this view because it's EV and it's faster okay so now let's add a gradient texture and now I want to do control T and it adds a a texture coordinate it doesn't really matter if you use this one or this one I'm just going to use generated UV basically uses your UV and then you might need to move around the UV map to get it in the right place generated works kind of fine so I'm going to rotate this on the Y 90 degrees and with the gradient texture I'm going to add a color ramp and then that will allow us to have a bit more play about where it's going so to add one here and tighten it up a bit like this okay so now we want this we don't want this gradient to be completely smooth we want it to be a bit rough because that's how things are in life so I'm going to grab this one I want uh, probably probably the one of these which is fine I'm just gonna actually add a image texture and I think this one that should be fine and then I'm gonna add a color ramp and 
let's just bring this in like this and this one like so and now we have a nice black and white mask but we want that mask to show up in the right place so what we can do is add a RGB mix RGB and plug these in set it to full and we can set it to multiply and then if we press control shift on this one and <coughs> now you can see that this is kind of rough and that's what we want but then we don't want the rest of this so we can just add another color ramp oops it easy plug this into here and let's add another one and set this one to screen because what we want to do is create a white mask and then screen will overlay the white onto the black so where we have the black bits we, we don't want the black bits we just want it to be completely white so screen will allow I can show you here so if this is pure white then you can see that it completely screens the whole thing uh, so you can see what I'm doing now so now you can control where you want the this mask to start so we let's just play with this here so bring this to like so and bring this down Yeah, let's just leave it like that for now and then let's add a new material I'm just gonna make a really simple metal for this one let's actually add a, add the normal map and metallic just because I want it to look like a painted material painted metal so let's just make it a little bit gold and roughness lower like so so now it looks like it's been painted um, <coughs> And now what we're going to do is add a mix shader and plug this one into the top and this one into the bottom. I probably got that wrong way around. Switch it in a second. So let's do control shift on this one and see how that looks. Now it's just a mix between the two. So gold and no gold. But now we have made a mask. So let's bring this over and plug this into here. And now we can see that it's created that gradient. But it is the wrong way around. So let's just flip these up. And that's fine. And now it actually allows us to to play a little bit easier. I'm going to set this to something like pink so that it's easier to actually see the mask and we can just have a play so we can either make it more or we can make it a bit less. So you can kind of see here for example the, the mask isn't set which is nice so it's not a completely pure line so we can set this however we feel like. I think that's kind of fine. And then we can set that back to gold. Mm -hmm. Now we can create a one for the top so we can just grab this whole thing. Let's press S and scale this in and then just make another one sorry there is a lot cleaner way to do that if you want you can kind of just move around if you like but that kind of works fine for me so I'm gonna press this one and okay that was silly to do that and I want to rotate this minus 90 degrees so now we have a mask coming from the top direction but then we might need to move this like this there we go and now we can create a another mix shader Actually, I might need to play with these a little bit more because I can't see the actual. There we go. Okay. Let's bring this up. Okay, maybe actually a little bit less. Okay, something like that should be fine. And now let's plug the metal into this one again and the previous one into here. And now we can just plug this one into the factor. And now we have one coming from the top and one from the bottom. And now we have a lovely, weird concrete block. Uh, it's actually going to here. And it looks beautiful. So I've just been playing with the mask a little bit more and trying to make some more obvious masks. And so you can kind of see here that actual full stones have now, it's as if the paint has chipped off of these stones. So it's a nice kind of gradient and it kind of makes it a bit more interesting because you can kind of see the details coming through. And that is the kind of mask that, that you'd want to achieve. And it just kind of takes a bit more playing, but you can kind of get any kind of feel that you want. So yeah, I hope you like my tutorial and I will be back soon, I'm sure.